Hello guys, today is our very special art with tea game moment. You can see this is a beautiful cube of cable. It has the great art structure of the modern art of today's time. It has the modern linings of the contemporary art of the 1990s. Also, Beethoven used this as his pillow. Hello guys, uh, and that uh, part right there is not serious of course, what is serious is this ore processing system. Now look at this, this is a beauty, this is like amazing, I could make this one wide if I wanted to. But that is not the point, the point is how this system works. So what this uses is two features, one, the thermal expansion configuration, and two, the router configuration. So. If you don't know what a router is, it sends item to every attached inventory from the top. So it will check the top slot from each of these machines and try and put something in. And you can see only the pulverizers have uh, available insert slots. And that way only the pulverizers will get ores. So what I have right here is this set as so. Oh, one second. Okay, so I have this set as so and it actually all exports into this router and then this router will insert into all top sides. Now the second stage is this, the second router, which will extract from all bottom sides. So if we look at this we can see the configuration is the bottom. So we'll go to each machine and check the bottom of it and see if it can accept anything. And if it can then ta -da, it will move on to the next one. So let's try this out. So you can see this will automatically, oh sorry, always active, and of course let's just put in, oh, okay, so let's throw in some ores, okay, so as you can see there's a bunch of ores in there, you can see the light starting to show up and boom 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 it's a really nice view as well there's also these nice particles of course all of the ores are going inside here and are being distributed all over the network now this is a very good system by the fact that it is it can handle a lot of bandwidth also what it can handle is infinite expandability you could expand it in any direction you can expand it well not to the top you cannot ex expand it upwards or downwards but you can expand it like this, which is very useful in any case of usage. So, this is all you need. You also need an export bus. Of course, it doesn't have to be fuzzy, but fuzzy is better if you have multiple mods with multiple ores. Also, right here, we have this. The basic import, just on this. This is more than enough to suck stuff out. Now, of course, you can just input with regular pipes. It does not really matter. But what does matter is that this works flawlessly and it is quite a good way, especially when you start out. Now do keep in mind each set, so each pulverizer has two furnaces. One of these will take 8 MJ per tick, which is not too, too uh, cheap. So this is a, a bit mid-early game setup for your ore processing. Of course early we just have one set and then of course you could always expand it over. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a quick one. I uh, just wanted to put something out there for you guys so you know how, how to automate your ores better and have a good setup because not a lot of people have that. And this is a good way to start off, especially with these mods, which all of them are here to stay, unlike some other mods, which may be taken out in future versions of FTB possibly or the regular uh, mod packs. So I hope you enjoy. This has been Team for Team. Like my face. Like, subscribe. Mwah. Bye bye.